In this video, we will find out the hoop stress and longitudinal stress in thick pressure vessels. In our previous video, we found these stresses in thin pressure vessels. The difference between the thick pressure vessel and a thin pressure vessel is that the ratio of outer radius to inner radius in the thick pressure vessel is greater than 1.10. For this case shown in the figure, this ratio of outer radius to inner radius is greater than 1.10. So we will consider this pressure vessel as thick wall pressure vessel. The outer radius is 400 mm and the inner radius is 360 mm. So that the wall thickness of this pressure vessel is 40 mm. So we will create the geometry according to these dimensions in our next step. Open ANSYS workbench. Now double click on static structural. Previously we have performed our analysis on thin pressure vessels. So now we will perform our analysis on thick pressure vessels. So rename this analysis as thick. Now double click on the geometry. First we will select the sketching plane. Go to this button, select new sketch plane and select the XY plane. Then click this button plane view to see at the XY plane. First we will create a construction line. Click this button construction line. Start from origin. Enter 1500 as length of this line press Z to zoom to fit now we will draw a circle at the origin the diameter is 800 mm draw another circle of 800 mm press Z draw a line tangent to both the circles and having length of 1500 mm Draw a construction line at the second circle to the outer edge. Now draw a vertical line having length of 100 mm. Now connect this line with the circle. Next, use the trim away tool to delete the extra edges. Now use create rounded corner button and Click on this edge, enter a radius of 100 mm, press enter. Now click on the select button and select these curves by holding the control key. Total 5 curves will be selected. Now we use the offset curve button and and enter a value of 40 mm we can see the sketch is open with the help of line tool we can close this sketch zoom into this area and draw a line to close the sketch now go to design tab and select the pull tool a surface has been created we will revolve this surface to create the geometry for pressure vessel. Now select this surface then press this revolve tool. Next select this axis about which we want to revolve this surface. Now press the space button and enter a value of 360. Then press enter. It will revolve the surface around 360 degree and create the geometry for pressure vessel. Now double click the model button. Now we will create the mesh. Click on mesh and enter 20 millimeter in the element size tab. Then click generate. Now we will apply the boundary conditions. Click on static structural and then Click Fixed Support. 
rotate the model and zoom into this area and select this edge then click apply now click zoom to fit then click this dot to see the isometric view then click the x axis to see this view now now go to this section planes tab click this button new section plane and draw a line to create the section plane now click this circle to see the isometric view now we will apply the pressure click on static structural then click on the pressure button now select two surfaces and then click apply enter magnitude equal to 1 megapascal now click again on the static structural then click on pressure and select the remaining surfaces then click apply enter magnitude equal to 1 zoom into this area and see the pressure is acting outward of the surface now click on the solution tab click on the stress tab and select the normal stress press zoom to fit in the x direction the stress is longitudinal direction so you can see here the orientation is this normal stress is along the x axis so so this is the longitudinal stress then again add another normal stress but this time the orientation is along z axis along the z axis it is hoop stress so rename it as hoop stress now click on this solve button now the solution is complete click on this edges button and select no wireframe first look at the longitudinal stress and click on the probe button and in the axial direction the maximum longitudinal stress is around 4.31 megapascal now we will create an other section plane go to section planes and click on this button new section plane now click the y axis and draw a line now we will analyze the hoop stress click on this sphere to see the isometric view and zoom into this area now click on probe at the outer surface the hoop stress is around 8.5 megapascal and at the inner surface the hoop stress is around 9.53 megapascal so we will compare these hoop stresses and longitudinal stresses with our hand calculation to validate the ANSYS results. The hoop stress at the inner surface of the pressure vessel can be found by using this equation. In this equation, A is the inner radius, B is the outer radius and R is the position in the radial direction in which we want to calculate the hoop stress. If we want to calculate the hoop stress at the inner radius, then this R value is equal to 360 millimeters. So at the inside of the pressure vessel, the hoop stress is equal to 9.52 megapascal. And at the outer surface of the pressure vessel, the hoop stress is 8.52 megapascal. We can also calculate the longitudinal stress by using this equation and the longitudinal stress is 4.26 megapascal. So our hand calculations are closely matched with ANSYS results. So our solution is validated. Thank you for watching this video. We can also analyze the pressure vessels by using axis symmetric assumption and we will discuss that in our next video.